بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم dear brothers and sisters and we will talk in the upcoming lessons about the characteristics of hypocrisy one of the worst kabir that must be taken in consideration is what we experience nowadays with weakness, humiliation and lack of trust in Islam and Muslims taking non-Muslims as our allies and friends instead of sticking together you can find too many ayat in the Quran warning from this act threatening of its defective results. Here are some ayat. لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تَتَّقُوا مِنْهُمْ تُقَاهُ وَيُحَذِّرُكُمُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَهُ وَإِلَى اللَّهِ الْمَصِيرُ Let not believers take disbelievers as allies rather than believers. And whoever of you does that has nothing with Allah except when taking precaution against them in prudence. And Allah warns you himself and to Allah is a final destination. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا بطانة من دونكم لا يألونكم خبالا لا يألونكم خبالا ودوا ما عنتم قد بدت البغضاء من أفواههم وما تخفي صدورهم أكبر قد بينا لكم الآيات إن كنتم تعقلون O you who have believed, do not take as intimates those other than yourselves, for they will not spare you any ruin. They wish that you would have hardship. Hatred has already appeared from their mouth, and what their breasts conceal is greater. We have certainly made clear to you the signs if you will use reason. Allah warns us not to take non-Muslims as our friends and partners. Allah only is our ally. If we take other than him, he will leave us to them. إِنْ يَنْصُرْكُمُ اللَّهُ فَلَا غَالِبَ لَكُمْ وَإِنْ يَخْذُلْكُمْ فَمَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يَنْصُرْكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ If Allah should aid you, no one can overcome you. But if he should forsake you, who is there that can aid you after him? And upon Allah, let the, let the believers rely. If we take them allies, Allah will put us with them in the Day of Judgment. Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu la tattakhidu al-yahuda wa al-nasara awliya ba'dhuhum awliya ba'dh وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ مِنْهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ O you who have believed, do not take the Jews and Christians as allies. They are in fact allies of one another, and whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Indeed Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. And also, Ya ayyuha al-lazina amanu la tattakhidu al-kafirin awliyaa min dun al-mu'minin aturidun an taj'alu lillahi alaykum sultanan mubina 
O you who have believed, do not take the disbelievers as allies instead of the believers. Do you wish to give a law against yourself a clear case? And the Prophet also said, Man the shabbah habin qawmin fahuwa minhum That he who copies any people is one of them. Someone might ask, we live with them, so what should we do? You must deal with them in a good way. You must have the best example of Muslim and let them feel good about Muslims. But you must not take them as friends. Don't allow them to enter your home and don't let your children to be their friends. Keep a distance between you and them and stay with your fellow Muslims. That is how Allah orders us to do with them. لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين Allah does not forbid you from those who not fight against, fight you because of religion and do not, not, and do not expel you from your homes, from being righteous towards them and acting justly towards them. Indeed, Allah loves those who act justly. And if you enter an argument with them, here's what you say. وَلَا تُجَادِلُوا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْهُمْ وَقُولُوا آمَنَّا بِالَّذِي أُنزِلَ إِلَيْنَا وَأُنزِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ وَإِلَهُنَا وَإِلَهُكُمْ وَاحِدٌ وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ And do not argue with the people of the scripture except in a way that is best, except for those who commit injustice among them. And say, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you. And our God and your God is one, and we are Muslims in submission to him. Sadly, some Muslims love them and choose to stay with them more than staying with the Muslims. Some, more many, harm Muslims because of them. Inside too many messages, you can find a spy who is willing to hurt a Muslim because of loving for them. This is a huge kabira, and such a Muslim will be punished in the deepest hell of fire. So beware. So, O oh Allah. Help us to take you and your best people as our allies and stay with the righteous people. O oh Allah, clean our hearts from hypocrisy and guide us to the right path. Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.